Hey everybody, this is Rob again, and we're doing a quick update on the peppers at the shop today. And we have a special guest with us today. Well, I don't know if we can really call him a special guest, but we have a guest commentator today. So today, we have the pepper pots. Hello everybody. Um, so, I guess I'm doing the shop update today. Um, as you can see, we're starting out here with the scorpion. Um, surprisingly this thing just is the little engine that could. It does not want to die. It does not want to stop growing. We've been debating back and forth here for a little while on whether we want to keep it or uh, splice some, try and save it that way, or what we're going to do. <laughs> Darn door alarm. Yep. Um, but. I mean, up here I was concerned a bit. The leaves were all starting to get a little wrinkled and smushed, but they seem to be coming back together all right. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, our battle with the aphids has ended, I guess. They've gone away again, so now that it's getting colder, we might try and save the whole plant and see how that goes. Unsure yet. But it's definitely made a full recovery from what you saw at the beginning of the year anyway. I think, uh, what was last harvest? 50 some odd? Uh, I think it was just right about 40. 40? Okay. So yeah, I mean this whole summer we've been getting bushels of peppers. Uh, and they're still coming. They do not stop. Um, I think over the last little bit here I've put, I've been watering it with about two gallons, two and a half gallons. Um, but I've had to make up a special container of a five gallon bucket of miracle Grow solution just to make sure I can keep this thing happy. Otherwise, it seems to want to put too much into the peppers and die off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll be right back. All right, so um, I guess just to add to the shop pepper update, uh, not a huge thing, but we've got the ahi seeds I started. Uh, I don't know where they at or where they are at. It's been about a week. Uh, looks like we've got one sprouting for sure. Two right there. So we'll have a couple plants here soon anyway. Cool. More plants coming up. More plants for the shop. Uh, then we also... We've restocked the shop, actually. Um, Bob had some plants out back of his house that uh, he needed an emergency fix of, I guess. They were some that he thought were going to die, I guess, and he just let them go. Well, some decided they wanted to still fight on and fight the good fight, so that's what we're going to go on to next here. All right, so uh, this is, as you can tell, the uh, one of the ahi penix. We actually had a couple of these come through. Um, now this is one plant. Uh, in the cup it was in originally, it had fallen over and made this main branch. Um, and this one had kind of stopped growing. Uh, but since replanting it out of the cup it was in, um, they're both kind of taken off. We've got a couple little flowers here, whether they're going to do... There should be another one up here somewhere. Whether they're going to do anything or not... Um, that is the question. They might just fall off and start spreading its legs again. Um, that's just all to be determined. And then um, they've been in the shop about a week so far and no bug presence that I can tell. So everything's looking good so far. Then we'll move on to our arrowhead, which just, yeah, that thing's just way too big. And then we have Boss Tasha walking through. And the next one, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Dedo de Moca, Dedo de Maca. Um, however, um, this was one of the survivors of the plants and cups, I guess we'll call them. Um, this one's been transplanted. I'm expecting it to do pretty good. Uh, if you can see down in here, there's three different ones actually that took off um, and are doing quite well. We got one, two, and three. Um, so we'll see how those end up. 
Notice he wrote the tags nice and big so I can read them. Yeah, Rob asked me to make them a little bit bigger for him, so I made them comically oversized. Uh, this is the second uh, he panic. Um, this one, I mean, looking good. Pretty decent leaves, uh, starting to spread out, I'm sure, down there. All right, and here we are up front. Uh, we had to move it out of the sun a bit because it was a bit too sunny. Uh, looks like it's going to need a little bit of water here as well. The leaves are starting to drag. Uh, but this is the Scotch Bonnet Red. Uh, another little bud right in here. A um, couple more little buds in there, so we'll see if this one's going to spread out. Now, these were all really root-locked in um, plastic drink cups. And so uh, they've all been transplanted and... So we'll see if they're going to stay the size they are, grow bigger, or what. Uh, hopefully they grow bigger because this thing's probably not going to put up very big peppers in current state. Alright, so these are the remainders. Um, we have the white peach. Uh, it might be a white peach ghost scorpion. Uh, we're not 100% sure on that. I guess we'll see more as pods develop. Um, but all we could really read on the stick that was provided was white peach, so for sure it's a white peach. Uh, over here we've got um, the Aribi Gusano in the first cup here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Aribi Gusano. Yep. Um, that one we haven't got around to transplanting. These ones were all still pretty small and not quite as root locked, at least visibly as the others, so that's why they're still kind of grown in the cups. Uh, we've got the Brain Strain, the Yellow Devil's Tongue, a Chocolate Habanero, a White Fatale, and a Bengal Naga. Um, the Naga is probably going to be transplanted next according to its size as compared to the rest. Uh, and then of course we've got the Serranos, one I finally had to stake up because it was starting to get a little too tall for itself. Um, and then our usual, all of our millions of aloes. <laughs> so if you know anybody who wants an aloe, get a hold of uh, Mr. Rob Z there. We'll get it sent out to you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Devin likes his aloe plants. That much is true. Then we have our other little trees and the mother aloe back there in the corner. And then, yeah, same thing I guess I would say with all of these. Um, there was... Originally, when we moved the peppers out, we had signs of aphids kind of scattered through the trees and aloes. Um, but as we've kept the scorpion out back and got the rest out of here, it's been six months or so. I know for sure uh, the spring and summer, we haven't had any plants in here and they've all disappeared and so I haven't seen any. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed on that one anyway. And yeah, hopefully you guys will get to see some good peppers growing this year. Instead of what has been our dismal display of one plant. <laughs> yeah, and I want to show off one more thing before we go. It's touching the ceiling now, or uh, palm tree, whatever it is. Yep, it's actually bouncing off the ceiling. I so... Oh, sorry for interrupting you. I was going to say, yeah, I, I actually thought it stopped growing on us for quite a while because it just kind of sat a few inches below the ceiling, and then I came in the one day and noticed it's now a few inches past the ceiling. And so I guess it's still growing. <laughs> and mind you, nine-foot ceiling's in here. So, yeah, it's a happy plant. And the shoot that I took off it, you can see it hopefully back in the corner back there. That's just one little nub, nub that I took off the tree itself and yeah, it's getting up there as well. Alrighty then, Mr. Devin. <clears throat> Mr. Pepper Putts himself. Do you have any closing words that you would like to say? Um, I guess check out my channel, check out uh, Mr. Rob Z's channel, and of course you should be because this is the channel you'd be watching this on. Um, like, subscribe, check out everyone on the PLC. Uh, hopefully these peppers will take off and not be a major disappointment. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Cool. Yep. 
reason we changed the format up a little bit here is because I don't want to take credit for all of these growing. I want like to give credit where credit is due. And Mr. Devin here takes great care of the plants. So I'm giving them that credit and yeah. Alrighty, like you said, like button, subscribe button, uh, notification button, all that kind of good stuff. And I thank you much for watching and we will see you later. Mm, bye.